Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate how to make a histogram and frequency table using the built-in tool that comes with Excel 2010. And uh, these are both commonly used to describe and summarize data, particularly the shape of data. And um, to get going, you're going to need a few things. So uh, over here, obviously, I have data. And um, they appear to be a random sample of IQ scores. All right. And to make my histogram and frequency table, I'm going to uh, need a few things. I'm going to need to know how many observations there are, so I got to count. I'm going to need to know the largest observation and the smallest observation. All right. I'm going to use these three statistics to determine how many categories or bins should I organize my data into and then how wide should each one of those bins be okay so down below I have set up a little table all right and I'll call this the lower class limit and this the upper class limit okay and so observations from the data set that start at 50 and go up to 59 will appear in this first category or bin okay Observations from 60 to 69 will appear in this second category or bin, and so forth. Okay. All right, so once you have the uh, preliminary stuff done, we're going to go ahead and access the built-in histogram tool that comes with Excel. All right, so to do that, I'm going to go to the Data tab. All right, and all the way over on the right, I'm going to go to Data Analysis. If you don't see Data Analysis, that means it's not turned on. So you're going to want to hold the Alt key, type T, then I, and that will launch the Add-ins Manager. And what you want to do is make sure the first box is checked, Analysis Tool Pack, and then click OK. All right, so now you should see the Analysis Group and the Data Analysis can be clicked on. All right, and this will show you all the statistical uh, things you can do with Excel. All right, I'm going to select histogram to launch the dialog box. Okay, and uh, I'm just going to fill in what I need to do. So I need the data first, so I'm going to select all the data. Uh, I then need the bin range. And this is a little misleading because actually all I need is the upper class limit of the bin range. And it actually won't work properly if I don't select the upper class limit. Okay. All right. So we have uh, output options next. And uh, we have a few output options. I am going to output it on this same spreadsheet right next to my little table that I set up. Okay. And uh, I'm going to check cumulative percent and chart output and then click OK. And there is our frequency table. OK. And over here is our histogram. All right, the histogram needs a little bit of work. So Excel put something out there, but yeah, it's pretty ugly. Uh, I'm going to, if I can here, I'm going to first make the chart bigger. And that'll help somewhat. All right, we need to make a few more changes though. All right, so I'm going to change the cumulative percentage over here so it doesn't go over 100%. So I'm going to over the uh, the y-axis and then select format axis. All right, and in the format axis dialog box, I'm going to click fixed next to the maximum axis option. I'm going to change it from 1.2 to 1. All right, so that will change it from 120% um, to 100%. Okay, we can close. All right, I'm going to move the legend. So I'll put it on the bottom. Okay, give me a little more chart room here. All right, so it is a histogram, and this is... Um, continuous data so the bar should actually touch so I'm going to hover over one of the bars right click format data series okay and uh, instead of having a hundred fifty percent gap I'm going to change it to no gap 
okay, so that there is no gap in between the categories. Okay, and then I'll just change the border color so we can see a little bit better, okay, where each category ends. All right, so it's just sort of a blue blob out there. Okay, so uh, that's done. All right, one more thing I want to do is um, I want to be a little more accurate with my x-axis label. Okay, and uh, actually I can get rid of this bin label down here. Give me a little more chart room. All right, so right now it's just showing the upper class limit, and I actually want to show 50 to 59. Okay, so what I'm going to do is write a little formula in here to update the axis, uh, the legend. Okay, so it's going to be equals. I'm going to point at the uh, the first bin. I'm going to type an ampersand, quotation mark, a space, a dash, another space, quotation mark, another ampersand, and then I'm going to point at the 59. Okay, so I'm basically just concatenating or pasting these two values together. All right, and so I end up with 50 to 59 uh, in the cell. And then 50 to 59 on the chart. Okay, I'm just going to copy that down. So the nice thing is I only have to write the formula once. Okay, and um, I'm going to change the font size. Okay, so I'll just make it a little bit smaller. All right, and then we we don't actually need this more bin. All right, so this is kind of a a, a real uh, idiosyncrasy of the built-in tool um, it always gives you this more bin whether it sort of needs to or not and we don't need it there are no observations there so I'm just going to get rid of it all right so I'm going to again hover over the chart somewhere and uh, I'm going to select data okay and so you can see what is being charted right now uh, I'm going to change the last row to 18 instead of 19 in this case. All right, and so uh, there you have a very nice histogram uh, with cumulative percent. And uh, thank you.